Try that note one more time. <laughs> Alan DJ! No! To hell with it! Oh! Oh! Thank you. Yeah, this is wonderful. This is great. A lot of people ask me, because I'm a comedian, they always say, you know, is that a tough job to be a comedian? And I don't think it is. I, I compare it to things I used to do. I used to work part-time as a rapper in a department store. So you bought a little gift and you need to get a rap. Well, I came here to tell you about that. We got red ribbon, blue, green, and white. Everybody gonna have a packet tonight. Were you funny as a, as a child? And uh, no, I was an accountant. But um, <laughs> when I was a kid, my mother used to hum me to sleep every night. She'd stand there. Mm. <laughs> so aggravating. You know. My parents were extremely cruel to me. I remember one day I was coming home from kindergarten. Well, they told me it was kindergarten. Found out later I'd been working in a factory for two years. <laughs> I was, about, I was about four or five years old. My dad walks up to me before Christmas one day and he says, Ellen, what would you like for Christmas? I said, gosh, Dad, I'd like a little dolly. Christmas Day, he wheels in this tremendous metal thing. <laughs> no, Dad, that's not what I meant. That's, uh... You ever try to dress one of those things? They're impossible. It's just... We had fire drills around the house so that in case of a fire, we each had a special duty. Like my father had to grab the pets, my mother grabbed the jewelry, my brother ran out to get help. They told me to try to save the washer and dryer. <laughs> Good thing had that dolly. <laughs> yeah, <that's>, it was heavy. <laughs> that's why. And, uh... As a kid, I used to wander around in the woods, you know, because my parents had put me there. <laughs> Beautiful mountains. The mountains, are, that's the best part about it. I'm walking around by myself in the mountains one day. True story. Right down the hill from where I'm standing, about 10 feet away from me, little family of deer. Just a little, just mother, father, baby, dear. I thought, oh, I wish I had a gun. <laughs> Could have gotten them all just right there, just so. <laughs> who are these people who actually shoot deer and then put their heads on their walls of their living rooms? It's a poor, innocent animal standing around thinking deer thoughts. You know, has no idea what's about to happen to. So his last expression before being killed is on your wall. <laughs> This guy's happy, he's proud of it. <laughs> Shot it. <laughs> I killed it. <laughs> you know, I could see if it was something that you hated. It was something you're proud you killed, like a, like a burglar. <laughs> you think about this, this guy's gonna break into your home, steal your stereo, all of your canned goods, and have his last expression before you shot him. <laughs> You ask the people why they have the deer heads on the wall, they always say, because it's such a beautiful animal. <laughs> there you go. You know, I think my mother's attractive, but I have photographs of her. <laughs> that wasn't mom pretty. She had great legs, too. They're in the next room. Come on. <laughs> the deer heads, if you see the deer heads, usually on the walls of bars or restaurants, they have the silly party hats on them, silly sunglasses, streamers around their necks. These are the deer I really feel sorry for because obviously they were at a party having a good time. <laughs> I like animals. Dogs, I've, I've never had a dog. I really don't know much about dogs. They're a little stinky, I know that. My neighbor has a dog. It's a, uh, I really don't know. It's a big dog. It's a big, big muscular dog that breathes constantly and drools and jumps on me and I like that. I really, yeah, I'm gonna get one. These little dogs I hate, these little chihuahuas. These little bug-eyed rat dogs. It's, 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 
and they should be killed so breeding can occur no longer, I think. That's enough of them. It's always the little dogs you see wearing sweaters, you know? You never see a big dog wearing a sweater. My neighbor's dog has a sweater, but he wears it just wrapped around his shoulders. So it looks nice. It's very stylish. I'm a stylish yuppie dog. And... Dogs hate when you blow in their face, you know that. Yeah. I'll tell you who really hates that, my grandmother. She hates it. Yeah. Which is odd, because when we're driving, she just loves to hang her head out the window. <laughs> now, this is true. I read this in the paper. If you have an Angora sweater and you want to wear it out that night to a party or something, you take the Angora sweater, put it in a plastic bag, put it in the freezer for an hour, it won't shed the rest of the night, which is true. But then I started thinking, well, my cat sheds an awful lot. <laughs> you know. Thank you very much, thank you. I, do, I think everybody has a philosophical side to them. I, I, I grew up like that because of my grandmother, because at a very young age, she told me, she said, Ellen, life is like a blender. You have so many different speeds. You have mix, blend, crush, shake, stir, puree, but you never use them all. And in life, we have so many different abilities, but we never use them all. And I'd say to her, I'd say, Grandma, then I just blow in her face. I just, uh, <laughs> I didn't like her. She's actually, she's a wonderful woman. I'm kidding around, because she's, and you know, the good thing about her is she takes care of herself, which is great. That's so important to do. She started walking five miles a day when she was 60. She's 97 today. We don't know where the hell she is. <laughs> Life is so precious. It's so special. Everything on this earth should be here for a reason, for a beneficial purpose. Everything in, in nature blends together, if you think about it, except for fleas. Fleas do nothing at all beneficial. I always thought at times like this when we can't figure it out for ourselves, wouldn't it be great if we could just pick up the phone and call up God and ask him these things? Just pick up the phone and call up God and... Yeah, hi, God. It's Ellen. <laughs> Ellen. Degenerous. Degenerous. What, what's so funny? <laughs> no, I never thought of that. It does sound like that, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I get it. Listen, if you weren't too busy, it, sure, I'll hold on. Somebody's at the gate. <laughs> Onward, Christian soldiers marching. Yeah, now just sing along your tape. <laughs> it's not a tape. Well, they're good. <laughs> yeah. Listen, God, there are certain things on this earth I just don't understand why they're here. No, not Charo. No. <laughs> That's not what you mean but no there are certain things i mean jesus christ but no no i didn't mean that that was great we're still talking about that as a matter of fact i have a little plastic statue of them on my dashboard in my car no i'm not mexican it's just it's just on there i was thinking more about insects no bees are great the honey that's clever i was thinking more about fleas they seem to have no beneficial reason No, I didn't realize how many people were employed by the flea collar industry. <laughs> Not to mention sprays. Well, <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, of course you are. <laughs> Being New York. <laughs> yeah, still doing that comedy. Yeah. You got a little cold. God bless you. <laughs> bless yourself. <laughs> yeah, you got a joke for me. Great. Yeah, I got time. Yeah. Of course, you'd know that more than me, huh? <laughs> That was a joke. Go ahead. Who's there? God who? Godzilla. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Incredibly funny. <laughs> no, no. I just remembered an appointment I have to get to, so I gotta go. How about that? God who? Gotta go? Cute? That's stupid. All righty. <laughs> it was good talking to you, too. And I'll see you, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye-bye. Keep calling, Mark.